business environment in 2019 was characterized by downsizing as well as closures for many companies. The pension industry, however, managed to increase its asset base from 1.16 trillion Kenya shillings in 2018 to 1.32 trillion Kenya shillings in 2019. Some local companies have taken to partnerships with multinationals to stay afloat. One such partnership is by Octagon and Alexander Forbes Kenya, who announced an agreement that will see the multinational bring international clients to Kenya's Octagon with an 80-20% revenue sharing agreement. Octagon's chief executive Fred Waswa said there is a huge pensions market in Kenya that is yet to be exploited. That we want to help people save for retirement, help people plan for their future. And we have a huge market. East Africa has 150 million population. We only have 130,000 people. About 80% of Kenyans do not have pension covers, which is blamed on low awareness and lack of innovation blamed for the low uptake. The RBA has been reviewing its regulations to allow members of pension schemes to utilize a portion of their accrued benefits as security for a mortgage. Kenya is becoming a focus in terms of investment. I know our, us as Kenyans have our own view of what Kenya is, but when you go out there, people have a view of Kenya as a country that is ready for foreign investment. The Retirement Benefits Authority is also targeting to tap those in the informal sector, most of who have shunned pension due to cost concerns and product offering. This is by reviewing the policy and regulations to improve accessibility and ease the pension claiming process. Our coverage has risen now to 22% of the labor force, um, up from the 20% um, at the end of 2018. And this is on the back of the launch of several new pension products uh, targeting the informal sector. Uh, we have continued engaging informal workers by visiting them down in the grassroots in the markets at the county level. Betty Kiptum, Channel One Business.